Hey, good morning, guys. Now, this indictment dropped late last night, naming 19 people, including former President Donald J. Trump. Now, the charges are two years in the making, making this Trump's fourth indictment. The indictment alleges that rather than abide, abide by Georgia's legal process for election challenges, the defendants engaged in a criminal racketeering enterprise to overturn Georgia's presidential election result. Late Monday night, Georgia's Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis read off an indictment which claimed former President Donald J. Trump planned to illegally overturn the 2020 presidential election results in the battleground state. The charges claim Trump didn't work alone. In fact, 18 other names were read off, including Rudy Giuliani, Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, and multiple lawyers working with Trump. The indictment is 98 pages long, listing everything the Fulton County District Attorney believed Trump did illegally after losing the 2020 election. Part of those actions include this phone call, which Trump asked Georgia's Republican Secretary of State to find enough votes to keep him in power. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have because we won the state. What I knew is that we didn't have any votes to find. We had continued to look. Uh, we investigated, like I just shared the numbers with you. There were no votes to find. Trump faces a total of 13 charges, which include a violation of Georgia Racketeer and Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, conspiracy to commit false statements and writings, and filing false documents. Here's what the DA had to say. Specifically, the participants in association took various actions in Georgia and elsewhere to block the counting of the votes of the presidential electors who were certified as the winners of Georgia's 2020 general election. And Monday night, the Trump campaign responded to the indictment saying they could have brought this two and a half years ago, yet they chose to do this for election interference reasons in the middle of President Trump's successful campaign. In the meantime, the Fulton County District Attorney is giving everyone listed in that indictment until noon of August 25th to turn themselves in to Georgia authorities. Back to you guys in the studio.